few years ago. Thank you. Right, right. So we we make it much more than that time. What? Okay. So maybe I can ask you. Can we record it? Yes. Yes, can we you can record, record this for me. This inter can I interview you? Yes, sure. Okay. Let me put my this down here. Yeah. And then first, can I remember your name? Is this your card? Re yeah. Let me see here. Mr. Orio Kim. That's yeah, right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I take my mask off. You sent me the link last time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Well, my hair is disastrous. You look so much better than I do. What's your, <laughs> what's your secret? <laughs> a secret okay. is a uh, happy living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay. So uh, this is the camera here. Great. Yeah, we can slightly set up to oh, make man, you hear I, better. I just love the, I love to see this panel here. Yeah. Uh, let me see what we've got. I'm gonna just make. I'm just gonna film a little bit as we're going along. Yeah. Because I need to see this as well. This is. Uh, so this is the sort of. Uh, okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. So the. So Mr. Rio Kim. Good morning. Good afternoon. Yeah. Good morning. What What, what do we have? T take me through it. Okay. Uh, this is a, a new way of presentation of a yeah. smart world. Okay. So so far, the people using camera to send the video to the uh, to the internet, Zoom, or YouTube. But the technology we are using is a little bit different. We we bring the teacher. We yeah. bring the notebook, whatever presenting yeah. material. We combine in a virtual space, right? And they are using the virtual camera. Yeah. We send this one video to the smartphone. So what they are watching in smartphone, smartphone yeah. has a one screen yeah. where we can show both teacher and presenting material, yeah. and also online students and offline students. Fantastic. So we have, uh, for example, right now here we have a Zoom. Okay. Uh, this, this this video Zoom screen. So whenever you want to show on the online students, you just bring the mouse here. Right. Okay, immediately they bring bigger and then when you have uh, uh, offline students for example this is a camera for aiming in that side right okay? and then when you have a PowerPoint just bring this one to here then PowerPoint okay. screen coming out so the, all the students just watching smartphone where the teacher yeah. PowerPoint presentation there okay. but good thing is always we bring presenters face very big Okay. To make eye contact with the students. Sure, you teacher. look into the camera. Yeah, that, that's the secret how we make a best presentation okay. for every people. All right. So in, in the classroom, every student in the front has a bigger teacher and bigger presenting material. Right. In the rare students, very small yeah. presenter. For example, for this uh, conference room, about 1,000 people sitting there. Yeah. The presenter's face is too small. Right. So once we have this, uh, this method of showing this on the project yeah. screen, they have a same same video there for bigger screen right. for teacher and also bigger screen for presenting material. This is a new way of presenting in the classroom. So can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I've been talking about the uh, the hybrid virtual classroom, and that's uh -huh. when you have students the in the in the class yeah. and on the screen. Yes. Now, if I understand it, your facility is really designed for. I'm sort of in a studio setting here, and I'm not in the same space with the students exactly. or do you have this where i've also got some students in the audience uh -huh. how do you how do you set that up so we we actually have a several methods how to make hybrid class right so far everybody they have to be in the classroom to listen to the right. lecture the teacher has to be in the same class yes to meet the students right right now everybody has a 5g 4g online right so video uh, beautiful video going everywhere in yep. the world and uh, as long as we make a uh, presenting virtual classroom there, so yes. the students go to virtual class, right. where the teacher and teaching materials okay. there. This is exactly yeah. what we are providing for virtual classroom. And so I can I can bring my students on. You said it was one area. Where do I the, see my students? The stu students, the students in online, for okay. example, now here. Yeah. This is the uh, students there. Okay. Kay? So this would be my students. Students and, there. And I could do that via like. Teams, each student with their own. I could see five or twenty students. Yes, and okay. also they, they can stay in any place. Right. And then yeah. you can, for example, this is a Zoom. 
Right. Here we have a zoom one camera from there we okay. can show. So five teams there. Whenever they have a question, they make a big screen there. Right. So it will show there. So I could bring one team in and they're all together. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, as a teacher, I mean, this to me is like a high tech um, media production. You know, you've got fantastic camera, you've got fantastic software. How do I, as a teacher, teach in this environment? How do I focus on my, my, the teaching and the learning? Yeah, because, because uh, you can manage all this teaching material by yourself. Okay. And also when you have a, a classroom, you, you just bring the uh, presenting material on yep. this, any screen, one of this screen. We can make a two screen, five screen, right. five virtual yep. electric whiteboard there. And then uh, once you have your notebook or once you have a lecture desk like this, you can manage all the input and output. Uh, you don't need any production uh, director or uh, okay. technical director. Everything is automatically from the machine. But you need a more visual screen like a Zoom here, yep. another Zoom there. Yep. You have a YouTube screen, you have a Facebook. Right. All this screen is the input for that device. Right, so, so you it all can comes show. into one device. And yes. then, so, yeah. So this gives us a chance to go much further than just, um, what should we say, you know, PowerPoints and a static screen. Now we right. bring in social media, we bring in live stream, we bring in videos exactly. from outside. Wow, yeah. so I think the potential is, and I can also have a, a streaming video behind me sure, if I want. Sure. Yeah, but basically, uh, right now, we make a lecture desk, we make a right. notebook version, so maybe this time I can send you one notebook software yeah. so you can manage it. Okay. As long as you have a game notebook, perfect. Yeah. Okay? So uh, that way, what we are, claiming is watching that video yeah. is better than watching the local class okay so when when you teach in the classroom yeah. we take this video and uh, making recording sending to another class yeah i bet the remote class students has a be better engagement of the cl listening class this is a very interesting challenge yeah. i like i like i like <laughs> a challenge so so once we really prove that that method yeah teaching remote yeah so teacher don't have to be in the class students don't have to be maybe in the we can't be in the class so therefore yes, yeah yes so basically once it happens we we make all the class in the club right so students for the listening for the lecturing yeah you have to you have you don't have to be in the class in the same time right. same place instead they can watch video so i can Im i can invite my students and i can say we're not going to school today we're going to the cloud yes come and meet exactly. me and we're going to have a lesson in the sure. cloud that yes. sounds like yes that sounds like fun of course, they, they have to be, they have to come to class to have a contact. Right. Three hours per week. Sure. Very important time. Yeah. They don't have to spend all the listening, the lecture. Right. But they can spend time for discussion yeah. and coaching. Yeah, exactly. That's the exactly what the flip learning aiming at. Yeah. So we are... Oh, fantastic. Yeah, this machine, without any touching, yeah. they make a slightly moving yeah. out, moving in. Yeah. Not to make it boring, screen right. fixed one. but. They have all the intelligent function of production people's doing. Now I have a, I have a, diff a challenging question for you. You know Richard E. Meyer and the the learn the multimedia principles. Uh -huh. Are you familiar with? Okay, it's research about how much information you put on the screen in uh -huh. order to. Uh -huh. I think it's very interesting because his he says keep it simple. Yes. More than and if I look at your beautiful things, it yeah. looks wonderful. <laughs> but the question is, does the student know? Where to look? Uh huh. Yeah, the, so. that's why that's why the teacher always using pointer. So the the, te the teacher, yeah. Okay. Yeah, manage the pointer. So we we always bring this pointer yep. for students to watch where yeah. they should focus on. This is very yeah. important. Okay. So once you have this. Uh, so then you can direct the student learning to certain things. Yes, because uh, the pointer yeah. bring the students attention. Yeah. For to them to go thing. there. I yeah. see that. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So the, the oh, and also if you make a new uh, new slide, the titling coming out there. Yeah. This is the note from your PowerPoint. Okay. So the the, uh, yeah. the titling automatic creation from every every slide. Yeah. So they have uh, some concentration on that uh, information there too. I would love to. Uh, I would love to provide a lesson for my students yes. in, in this context and see yeah. how they experienced it so, so um, for example I can I can send you one software yeah uh, if you have a hardware and software yeah. I mean hardware means a good computer yeah. 
So once you have uh, NVIDIA yeah. 1660, whatever. Okay, I'll talk to my tech guys. They'll yeah, sort then, that out, yeah. then you can manage the YouTube, yeah. uh, Zoom from same right. machine. So all the multiple yeah. tasks they can do. The important thing is I really has a proof of what I am telling you. Okay, I'd love to, yeah. So once you prove, you, if, if you write the paper, it, yeah. that will bring huge change of yeah. the, the presentation industry. Okay. Yeah, so far, 200 years, people use a blackboard. Yeah. Project screen is a basically blackboard. Yeah. But what I'm bringing here is an electric whiteboard, virtual electric whiteboard. Virtual electric whiteboard. And virtual yeah. classroom. Yeah. So th that's the whole change of paradigm of class. Yeah. Every school. Well, if that's you what we're talking about. There's a there's a paradigm change in yes. what the class is. That's yes. I agree with that totally. Right. Think it's all loosened. It's changed. Yeah. And your wonderful setup here is one part. You're contributing to that change. Sure. So one, once we use this one in every classroom. Yeah. The valuable teaching always recorded yeah it, that will stay forever yeah with the human history yeah, exactly, all the yeah. intellectual property from the school from yeah. the conference center but a pity thing is none of the video coming out there yeah now once you use this method for presenting i'm, yeah. I'm trying to uh, bring the presenting technology yeah. in every notebook every classroom Fantastic. to make a different way of presentation which yeah. really make a video uh, better than any uh, teaching conventional teaching method now you're talking uh, because this is my question is when is video better and when is per in person better I, I, yeah, I'm yeah. not going either way yeah, yeah. but I love your angle you're you're pushing for video can be better than yeah, video yeah. but uh, you know the tele video is a video right I'm, I'm talking about tele presentation right tele video is sending one video to another place right. Telepresentation is sending class from one place to another class. Right. So there's no telepresentation definition exists. Okay. Yet. Telepresentation. Yeah. So we need to look into yeah. what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Telepresence. Yeah. If you if you make a Wikipedia sure. telepresence uh, from Cisco yeah, from yeah, the yeah. conference, telepresence means there is a teacher in the TV right. presentation the sure. projector. So two screens there. Yeah. And the what a pity thing is the students don't know when when they should watch teacher when they should watch the projector screen right but here you're talking about telepresenting yeah this is and a telepresentation and, oh, telepresentation and that has not yet been Wikipedia, defined yeah nobody defined okay so I, do I'm you do you have a definition the definition is this okay so, so we need to screen? describe what the, yeah. yes maybe maybe I can send yeah. you my idea you, you okay assign the, the yeah. Wikipedia defining telepresentation okay. Another important yes. thing is smart class. Right. Everybody saying smart class, right. Google smart class, right. Samsung smart class. Yeah. What they're claiming is Google say, oh, if you use a Chrome notebook, this is smart class. Right. Samsung say Samsung smart smart, smart, uh, yeah. smart class. My definition is classroom from smart device. Right. So this video, when you watch, yeah. you you are watching the virtual smart class there. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like. Yeah. Yes. This is a. This is a. Everybody can agree smart class has to be done like right. this way. Okay. So once we put this definition in Wikipedia, it will be stay forever. Okay. And also once you wrote the paper, why yeah. this is better than normal conventional way of teaching. Yeah. This one is a big story. Okay. So next year, let's make a joint l presentation here. Well, I'd be very happy to do that. <laughs> Very Fantastic. Very I give you. I have to wrap it up here. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you very much. Let's we keep we stop the uh, recording, yeah, because you were recording this. Yes, I think. yes, yes. I can stop. I don't know if it's possible to send a link at.